I also can't take the congestants such as Sudafed because of heart palpitations and I'm avoiding pain medicines because of my liver. <laughs> Good morning guys. I hate sinus infections. Oh, I can feel swelling on my jaw here. I don't know if it's quite visible yet, but I think it slightly is if you look at it from the right angle. But uh, I've had chronic bronchitis for years, like um, for 10 years from the time I was 8 to 18. I would have chronic bronchitis multiple times a year and it would stick around for months each time. And so Whenever I get something like a sinus infection, I'm concerned about it getting in my lungs and giving me bronchitis. So I hit it hard so that way, one, so I can function because this head hurt so much. But secondly, because I do not want to get bronchitis again. So I'll show y'all what I'm doing to combat the sinus infection. And yeah, I might try to get into the PCP next week. I set my preliminary appointment with her since I haven't met her yet. Caroline has because it's a new one. But I'll wait and see what next week holds. And I'm really hoping if I keep up with this routine I developed that I might be better by next week. We can hope. Because usually these things last longer for me. But I'm hoping it won't be too long because I feel really bad. <laughs> so I'll go start my routine.
So for my um, science and fiction, first I did a salt and essential oil steam. I don't know why because Hannah did the research, but Hannah researched and found that adding salt to the steam can help with the congestion and I've tested it out multiple times and it really does make a difference so I add salt and essential oils. Hannah makes up the essential oil blend. I do not know what's in it. I just know she said it has a tiny bit of um oregano in it to help because that can help kill infections but she didn't put much because oregano stinks and I know it has rosemary and probably lavender but aside from that I do not know and so after doing the steam I took a breathing treatment then I drank some tea, um, landed some stretches, and now I am drinking coffee, and that will hopefully help with the head pain. So, a lot of stuff really helps with the congestion, the coffee's just for the head pain. But, uh, I've been feeling so rough, guys. So, the breathing treatment, the medicine I use in it is called Level Butyrol. It's like Albuterol. However, Albuterol gives me heart palpitations, and so Level Butyrol doesn't it does make me weak and shaky like albuterol does but not heart palpitations so that's good i also can't take the congestants such as sudafed because of heart palpitations and i'm avoiding pain medicines because of my liver so that it's more difficult to try to deal with the sinus infections without that especially without the decongestants and because the head pain gets so bad not having pain relief uh but this routine is really helping. It's helping with the congestion, which then helps manage the pain. And so I'll probably do this routine another time. I'll probably do it again this afternoon and again this evening. So now, then probably after my nap and then tonight before bed. But it helps. So hopefully it will help me get over this sinus infection quickly. And hopefully I can avoid all of so good where I could read it. There's so much of it fields and fields of outside. I just hope it dies soon. I want a frost so it dies. Oh, and you'll also tell me taking my medicine. Same medicine as I take every day. But I'm hoping to take start taking the medicine that my cardiologist gave me today. We'll see. I want to take it on table mom is home so that way if I respond badly I have help and if it gets bad enough I could go to the ER. I doubt I will have to. It's very safe medicine. Very few adverse side effects. But we always like to be extra cautious because taking a new medicine is risky. Even if it's a safe medicine. And especially with all our current conditions going on. I mean before I once last year I took a leave. I was, I was like oh I'll be fine with it. It's just leave. I'm fine with tons of ibuprofen and Tylenol and stuff. Kelly takes the leave. I am not fine with the leave. I was having gallbladder attacks for a week and I was in so much severe pain. So we like to be careful. So I'm gonna wait and make sure she when she wakes up, I'm gonna check to see if she's gonna be home all day. And if she is, I'll try taking it today. If she has to go out, I can hopefully take it tomorrow. We shall see. I feel so worn out and so sick and fatigued and weak. I haven't eaten yet today, so I'm going to go see if Ma's awake or waking up and ask for her help with breakfast. So I need the drugs today. I had to wait until after I did my 24-hour Holter monitor, and then I wanted to wait for a day where one of my parents will be home all day, so that way if I react badly, they can help me. So uh, Ma doesn't have to go out till after dad gets home, and so one of the Two of them will be home at all times, so I'm gonna take it today. Just so it shouldn't cause any bad side effects. It's a very safe drug, but we like to be cautious. So, drug is Quilinor, or it's called also called um, Eva Bredine, and these are five milligram tablets. And so, what happened is my doctor gave me a month's supply, and so, um, which is four bottles. So he gave me a month's supply of free samples, and so I was putting all of the samples into one bottle so I had to juggle all the bottles. And um, after I take it a month, we'll do another whole to monitor, and if it helps, we'll be able to see from that, or we'll be able to see from my symptom relief. But the whole to monitor, what will happen is we did one before, and now we'll have one after. So if it does help, it will show an insurance. 
that I really do need the drug my doctor's prescribing because insurance likes to be finicky and say, no, you don't need something when your doctor says you need it. Insurance. But, um, so, I'm giving me free samples so I could be tested out for a month and then try to get insurance to cover it. And so I'm going to, I was reading over the instructions again. I read over, um, went over all the precautions and everything with my doctor in the office, but wanted to do again before taking it to be cautious. And so, I mean, it said to take with food, so I'm going to wait till after mom gets me, my, helps me with my egg salad, and then I'll take one, and then I'll take it again, again this evening. But, because I take it twice a day. But I'm hoping it'll help. We shall see some of the people in the studies I found. I printed out three studies and showed it to my doctor when I was approaching him about it. And one of them, the woman who was about my age with the same conditions, she um, noticed improvement in two days. And she took it for a month, ran out of pills, got bad again, and she started taking it and felt better. So it obviously helped. And so... Um, I'm hoping I can have that same improvement as she did, but it was great because I was, my cardiologist is so laid back, he is so awesome, but we were joking in, um, the office because, um, one of the adverse reactions listed in all the paperwork was luminous, um, phenomena. He wasn't sure what that was, and he was I. <laughs> And so him, my mom and I were all joking. Mom was saying I was gonna start glowing and then I was joking saying I was gonna have and about having superpowers. And um then he found really figured out what it was and it's luminous phenomena is when if like light changes quickly, say if you go from inside to outside, sometimes um your eyes you can get um bright light spots in your vision and stuff and from what I was seeing actually some people who do that after two months on the drug they stop doing that and so we'll see if I do that or not but then he was joking saying but if you do get superpowers let me know <laughs> and so I can't afford to try this really really hoping it helps because I really need a something to help manage the pots and so I'm hoping this might be an answer which will be really good today especially if it does help me because with my pots, um, also known as dysonomia, the, um, my heart rate gets really bad. I get tachycardia and lots of palpitations, especially when I'm dealing with um, sickness on top of my chronic illness. So now that I have the sinus infection, my dysonomia is flaring even worse. So I'm hoping it'll help with that. We shall see. Ugh, I feel so sick, guys. But hopefully my eggs will be done soon. Mom's boiling them for me because I didn't think it would be safe for me to handle boiling water. Then I'll make some egg salad and she'll help me peel and chop some apples because I also don't think it's safe for me to use a knife because I'm so weak and it's hard for me to focus. So I'll have apples and egg salad and that would be really good. Thankfully my stomach virus is getting better. I had some symptoms of it yesterday after eating but not nearly as bad as the previous few days and so... It always gets worse after eating, so it might get worse again today. I'm hoping it'll be better, though. We shall see, because I don't want to show what with stomach virus and sinus infection at the same time. So I'm going to go rest and watch anime, wait for food and medicine, and then for that, I'll, I'll take a nap. I need a nap. I need a nap so badly. So I took the medicine earlier, and I've done well with it. I took a nap then, a bit afterwards, and... Because I'm so sick and just feeling so terrible today. After an hour, I still couldn't get up. So I just laid in bed resting for another hour. I was able to get up and that helped me. I needed that. So I'm not feeling as miserable now. I really needed that rest. So just, my body's under a lot of stress right now between my chronic illnesses and now the sinus infection. But I wanted to show you all what I got to eat. I have some flounder and then some homemade coleslaw. One of my favorite meals because... I just love the combination of fish and coleslaw. It reminds me of fish tacos. So after I eat this, I'll take my second dose of the day of my Corla North. And yeah, um, someone I follow on Instagram. Let me find her name for you guys. She um, also has dysonomia, just like me. And uh, says she was really kind and commented on my post to encourage me 
Um, her name is Adela, but she, um, she comes and said she's been on the medicine for years for the same condition and it's been helping her. So that was really an encouragement. So I'm going to have to wait a couple days and see how long it takes me to notice benefits because it's not instantaneous. I was saying it took people a few days to be able to tell the difference. So I have to wait for that. And I know that having my sinus infection could be, make it harder to notice benefits because I'm so sick. <laughs> but I'm making, hoping it'll make me have less hot chocolates. We'll see. So anyways, I'm going to eat. And then I saw I've been missing a whole lot. Got today's vlog edited though. That's almost done. I only have like 12 minutes left and then I'll start uploading it. Yay me. And I've been reading. Now I feel up to it again. I haven't read much today since I've just been so feeling so sucky. But I'm starting to do better. And I also want to take a bath in a bit because the head talks think they smell funny. Probably from the oils and stuff. And so... <laughs> I don't hold them while I have oils on, but I don't have them on right now, but that's probably the residue they can smell it by. So none of them want me to hold them. They all huff at me, and that makes me really sad. And so I need to take a bath and wash that smell off so they'll let me hold them, because I miss my babies. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I picked up the camera today was. What I even talked about. So wiped. I can't manage. So, um, about to head to bed, but I want to let you know that for my treatment today. I um, took two breathing treatments, one this morning, one this evening, and those both helped with the congestion. Um, and I took both my doses of Quilinoy and no adverse side effects so far. Hopefully, after a few days, I'll be able to notice improvement with it. We shall see. And if I do notice no improvement, hopefully we can get insurance to cover it. Blah, insurance. And then, to help with the congestion while I sleep, I'm going to put some of this oil blend Hannah made me on. And to prevent the oil from staying in my pillowcase, I'm going to put the sheet on it so that way my pillowcases can stay nice and clean. But I feel so, so tired. <sighs> and that's some sad news about a friend's health all yours, so gonna be praying for them and hoping that now that they know what's going on, they can get plenty of help. But I second that, I can't think because I'm so tired, guys. So, good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.